Ready? <laughs> All right. Well, welcome everyone to Stephen F. Austin High School's first and hopefully only virtual ITS induction ceremony. Uh, this is not about me or Mrs. Dragoo. This is about our uh, students and it's student led. And so I'm going to be quiet except to say that uh, all of you that are here and the teachers being inducted to, uh, you mean very much to us and we will get through this. And uh, seniors, this will turn out to be very memorable for you. So uh, that's it for me. I'm going to mute and just watch all you beautiful people do your thing. So welcome, and let's get started. Good evening, my name is Mrs. Dragu, and I'm the director of Troop 1747 of Stephen F. Austin High School. And at this, this time, I'd like to introduce our officers. If you'll raise your hand when I say your name, please. President Liliana Couvre, Vice President Bella Gray, Communications Officer Chloe Goodman, Clerk Emma Galbraith, Absolutely. Community Service Officer Addie Sutherland. Our historian is Jillian Etheridge. Our social officer is Sam Hilton. Our publicity officer is Tiffany Olsenowski. Our representatives for theater in our schools is Ali Krimmerer, Krimmerer and Victoria Salazar. Our upperclassman rep is Rand Whitfield. And our lower underclassman rep is Sam Hallam. Friends, parents, guests, it is a pleasure for us to welcome you tonight as we formally induct new members into Troop 1747 of the International Thespian System. Through hard work, sacrifice, and dedication, these students and teachers have earned the right to be called Thespians. And it is the, a little, it is the honor signifying a commitment to an art as old as humanity. The society was established in 1929 and was named for Thespis, the Greek who, according to legend, was the first actor. Their guiding principle was a dedication to excellence in theater arts in secondary schools. 71 schools became charter members of the society. From this modest beginning, the organization enjoyed steady growth. And in the next five years, the membership had increased to 320 troops. By the time the society had celebrated its 50th anniversary, there were 3,190 troops on its rolls, including Austin High's troop number 1747, which became a member in the mid 1970s. We are proud to have been a continuous member of the International Thespian Society for over 40 years. The goals of the International Thespian Society are to give students a place for outstanding theater where the standards of excellence in theater arts will be advanced and to honor those students who do theater well. And it continues to be guided by the principles of its founders, a belief that participation in the arts is an essential means of widening students' cultural horizons and enriching their lives. Over the course of their membership in the society, students earn points based on their participation in various performances. The accumulation of 60 or more points, which represents over 600 hours of dedicated work in theater, grants the rank of honor thespian. Achieving this status is extremely difficult. Please help me congratulate the following students who have reached the rank of honor thespian. Please raise your hand if you have achieved honor thespian with 60 or more points. Um, please raise your hand if you have achieved national honor thespian with 120 points. Please raise your hand if you have achieved International Honor Thespian if you have 180 or more points. Tonight, we will induct 26 new members to our troop. Let us pause to reflect on the many aspects of the evolution of our art, which encompasses all of the major forms of human expression. The history of theater is the history of all people, it is the continuing search to find the answers to the awesome mysteries that motivate the human personality. Just as our early ancestors dramatized a crisis in their lives, so today we come to the theater to search for the answers to the process through which the theater arts have become a part of our cultural heritage. To recall and pay tribute to these arts, we begin the lighting of the candles. During the 6th century BC, one of the writers of tragedy who won the approval of the priests at the festival of Dionysus was Thespis. 
About 535 BC, a new dimension was added to drama when Thespis, who was a prominent leader of the Greek chorus, stepped out from that group and recited portions of the drama alone. In that moment, he separated himself from the chorus. Thespis became the first actor. In honor of this Greek writer, all the actors are called thespians. In his honor, we are the International Thespian Society. We have as our emblem the two masks of comedy and tragedy etched in the colors of gold and blue, bound together by the thespian P. Maybe. I like this candle. In memory of Thespis, and to remind us that our emblem represents a proud and dignified heritage, and that this heritage is now entrusted to us. No one knows when people began to dance. Archaeologists believe that people have always danced. To pacify the frightening forces of nature and to express joy in the gentle beauty around them, primitive people, by means of rhythmic movement and pantomime, communed with a being that both protected and threatened them. Wherever people lived, the dance and drama developed. As the intellectual powers of the human being became more acute, the dance became more complex. Gradually, through the ages, people learned to live in two worlds. In addition to the savage world of reality in which people worked and fought for existence, people created another of rhythm and imagination, which expressed in dance and action their emotions, prayers, hopes, dreams, and sometimes simply the joys of the human existence. I light this candle in honor of the art of acting without words, dance and pantomime. All right, this is my very, um, my dance performance without the best equipment, I'm sorry. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> um, okay. Music is the language of time and space. From the prehistoric era to the present moment, music is a record of human feeling. Early people responded to the environment around them, about them finding their music in the natural world. In the beginning, the beginnings of music are buried in the countless centuries, but through the persistence of that mysterious inner force that requires people to express themselves, humanity has found musical, fo musical form in tone, quality, pitch, and rhythm. I light this candle. I could light a candle. There we go. In honor of the musical expression of ideas and feelings that enhance much of our theater today. Okay, uh, just a volume warning if you're listening in on earbuds or headphones, just so you know. Do you remember how you used to be Joyce and we barely understood it. They gave us a bow or a language. Don't read poetry anymore. But 
what if I did? I'd be reading it tonight for sure. Oh, there's this building in past on the subway of Queens. It's on the L or the R or the one that's green. It's covered in tags. Bright hieroglyphics, these 15 year olds. They're so goddamn prolific. I'm commuting, I'm eating my freaking apple, and they're secretly painting their Sistine Chapel, but whatever. It's like they know they're if you're gonna die young, you better live like Pantomime and rhythm were not sufficient for early people who were endowed with an intellect. Even in a desolate existence, people sought to communicate ideas to other minds. As a result, speech became a part of the total experience of the human race. Today, while we can touch the past through the speech and reach into our imaginations of the future with speech, perhaps what is even more astounding is what we can reveal our thoughts, hopes, and inspirations to other people through that same medium. Light this candle in honor of speech, which lifts human beings from ordinary reality to entire worlds beyond, especially worlds created on stage. This is the light, that would oh. be kind of cool. There we go. So Lily and I will be performing a segment from the play Building the Wall by Robert Schenken, who was actually an Austin High alumnus uh, and a Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award winner. Um, this is simply the teaser to the piece, so it doesn't contain much of the plot. So if you're confused, that's why. Do you mind if I record? I'll also take notes, but this allows me to be accurate. I imagine we're both being recorded right now. Really? And watched. I think that's supposed to be for my safety. Or mine. Do you think I'm a threat? Are you? Kind of weird when you think about it. They don't want me to kill myself so they can kill me. You're nervous? Sure. Look, I'm not crazy. It was the situation. There was enormous pressure from the brass and stuff just piled Rick, up. And if you listen to me on repeating the same bullshit your lawyer gave you at court, then I'm going to walk out of here and never come back. On the other hand, if you want to talk to me, one person to another, really talk to me about what happened and why. Maybe help us all understand so that nobody else finds themselves in your situation. Then we can do that. But you have to be honest with me. Can you do that? Can you just be honest? Wait, okay, okay. I'll talk to you. Thank, Thank you. All right. In our Western culture, dramatic literature drew in part out of the worship of Dionysus, the youthful god of wine and revelry, and of crops and vegetation. Around 600 BC, playwrights presented their plays in annual festivals in the great theater of Dionysus at Athens. Each hoped to win the approval of the priests whose privilege it was to choose the best play and bestow the prize upon the writer. I light this candle in honor of dramatic literature, each script depicting the agonies and comedies of the human drama and providing the map uh, to guide the process of creating theater. Oh yeah. 
I will now read an ad adaptation of J.B. Presley's essay on delight. The secret dream, the hunger that can never be, never be fulfilled, to come out of the late rehearsal and smell the lilacs, to have a play done as well as it can be done by dear friends and tried colleagues, and not indifferently produced on all stages of the world. Ah, oh, some of my friends will be onto it before you can say knife, to tell me that such a place cannot exist outside a daydream. But some of us, as we go, hold, on, hold to a notion quite different, for ours is the secret dream. I will be reading John Donne's No Man is an Island. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent, a part of the main. If the clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind and therefore never send to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. In a very real sense, the theater today knows no bound. While primitive people pantomimed around the fire and the Greek actor portrayed his agony of spirit in the dancing of a circle, the modern performer presents his soul searching on a stage, the seeing place, and in an auditorium, the hearing place. The theater speaks to all of us, and at the same time, it speaks to, for all of us. It is a critical voice, exhorting people to become aware of the world in which they live and to pass judgment upon it. It is a social voice, exhibiting both our nobility and our pettiness. Most of all, it is a prophetic voice. I light this candle. Okay, it lit. <laughs> I light this candle in honor of all that is drama. From the use of artistic lighting to focus attention, to the painting of the scenery or the sculpture of a costume, or the makeup of an, on an actor's face, from the soundless movements of acting to the rhythmic movements of dance, from the playwright's scripts that will heighten our awareness of the world to the spoken speech, I honor all that are the arts that are theater. While membership in the society is an honor, it is also evidence of your continuing desire to work toward higher standards for theater productions in education and arts programs. Therefore, membership places upon you the obligation of performing your best with the knowledge that greater honors come to those who accept greater responsibilities through cooperation with others. Inductees, please raise your hand as I call your name. Stella Bolin. Ellie Black. Aidan Botchway, Kira Conway, Amaris Davila, Johnny Ethorn, Avery Gardner, Natalie Grayson, Webb Hullum, Lila Hewiler, Grace Littlefield, Emma Lowry, Ali Kemmer, Omar Mahar, Megan Mel, Caden Miller, Lucas Miller, Aidan Mills, Pearl Phillips, Julia Reeves, Zoe Slade, Violet Stewart, Lainey Stevens, Marvel Toja, Zoe Walgren, and Sophie Webster. We also have three transfer members. Please raise your hand when I call your name. John Kazin, Mr. Harris, and Kat Kelly. Our honorary thespians are those who believe we have sh they have shown dedication and encouragement to our department. They are as follows. Carrie Colt, Alt, Nadine Cooper, Jennifer Ostarch, Ralph Miller, and Stacy Webster. Now, will all of the International Festival Society members please raise your right hand? Lily, hold on a second. We have Miss Coker and Miss Cooper as well. Okay, go ahead. I now ask all members of the Thespian Troop number 1747 to say the pledge by repeating after me. I promise to uphold. I promise, I promise to uphold. The aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. The aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. <laughs> I am a student of theater, and excellence is my ideal. 
I am a, I am a student of theater. theater. Excellence is my ideal. I promise to perform my part as well as I can. I promise, I promise to perform my part as well as I can. To accept praise and criticism with grace. To, to accept, accept praise, praise and, and criticism with grace. With grace. To cooperate with my fellow thespians. To, to cooperate, cooperate with my fellow, fellow thespians. thespians. And work for the good of the truth. And, and work, work for, for the, the good, good of the truth. And to share my love of theater. And to share my love of theater. theater. Welcome to the International Thespian Society. Always remember our motto, which comes from Alexander Pope's essay on man. Act well your part. There all of the honor lies. By the authority, by the authority de delegated to me by the International Thespian Society, I now declare um, our inductees members of Troop 1747 of Stephen F. Austin High School. This has definitely been a really hard time for all of us. I think that you've made all of our evenings by, by joining us for this special time. We love you and we are so glad that you are part of our family. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to um, unmute, if you're a um, inductee, you can raise your hand if you would like to say something and we'll acknowledge you to say something. Does anybody want to say anything? I'll say something. Okay. May I mute you? Okay. Okay. It's, it's the echo. Sorry. Y'all might have heard Mrs. Dragoot tell the story about the children in Africa who wouldn't race to the tree to get the goods. Anyway, if you haven't, you need to ask her. But there's a word in one of the African languages, or maybe several of them, called Ubuntu, and it is a quality that includes the essential human virtues, compassion, and humanity. But anyway, I saw it translated once as, quote, I am because we are. So, Ubuntu. Would anybody else like to say anything? This is our time to connect with one another. <laughs> Quarantine, Ben. Okay, we love you all. Thank you for joining us. Teachers, you mean the world to us. Alumni, thank you for coming. Um, thespians, uh, it's really great to connect with you and be here even if it's online. So we hope to connect with you soon. So you guys have a wonderful evening and we will see you soon.